Three, two, one, go. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another quick tutorial. I wanna show you how to make fun shapes like this using the radial tool. It's very, very easy. All right, so the first few things that I wanna do is change this to Metcap. That way everything is easier to see. And also I want to change the perspective to orthographic. Okay, so the first thing that we need is a cylinder. So we'll go here and we'll add a cylinder. And I'll bring it up. I have like a, a floor here. So we'll just bring that up. And we can go ahead and validate that. So with this cylinder, we're going to use a radial repeater. And all that means is that it's a tool that just repeats this shape over and over again a certain way. So that's all a repeater is. And we're going to use radial. And radial just means that it'll radiate from one point. So let's say this green arrow is in the middle. That's the middle point. So when we use a radial, we can expand this to go out in all different directions around it. So to do that, make sure that you're on your shape or your mesh. Go here, add, then you have these three, these four repeaters. So we'll use radial. And of course you don't see much just yet, but uh, up here you have all these tools, you have all these numbers, and it can be a little confusing. So just try to use these uh, green, red, and blue arrows sort of as a guidance. And notice how they go in, they all go in the same direction, regardless of where you, where you turn it, they all go in their, their uh, certain direction. So what we want is we want to use the green radial you notice the green ring and all these little dots coming out. So that's how many we're actually making. So right now we have eight and you see we have these eight points to where they'll radiate out from the middle. So let's use this blue arrow and just pull it out. And there you can sort of see they're all sort of radiating out from the middle. And probably a better view is the top view. And then and there you have your radial. So just remember, if you want to edit, if you, if you want to change the, uh, the particular cylinders, then you go to the cylinder. Because if you go to radiate, I mean, if you're on radial and you try to do things like this, like it will work, but uh, you probably want to go to the actual cylinder. And then you can do things like this and really have some control over what you're doing. So you can pretty much, you can make a lot of shapes this way. You can make flowers, you can use spheres, you can do a lot. So to make the shape that we wanted to make, all we do is let's bring these together. So something like this, we probably don't need that many. Let's make them smaller. Oops, I was on radial. I should have been on cylinder. So now let's make them smaller. And we might need to stretch them out. There we go. So we stretch them out this way, and I think that might work. Oops. We'll use the blue and make sure. Make, maybe we'll spread them out a little bit. Now we can fatten them up a little bit. So that's a very similar shape to the one we made. So once we have the shape that we want, I'm going to go ahead and click on both of these and then validate them like this. So now we have this shape. I'm going to go and voxel merge them together. So we'll voxel merge them at like 200. And see now they're flat. Now it's flat. So we have this, we have this edge, but that's not a big deal. Uh, first of all, let's go pivot, reset, pivot, and then we'll shrink it down to the size that we want. And then we can find the floor. Like
like this. And then we'll use our rounded edge brush. Uh, make sure to check out that video so you can make the rounded edge brush. And we'll round this a few times. And then we pretty much have it. I'm going to change this back to lit PBR. There we go. It's white. Maybe with a little bit of roughness. So something like this. Let's move it over into the light a little bit. Make it a little more exciting. And just to make the one that I, the exact one that I made before, I changed it to subsurface. And I changed the depth a little bit so it's not so see-through, but it does make it look better. And then you go to paint. You can find whatever color you want. I like to use the nice pink for those fish cakes. I'll bring it in nice and big so that the brush is, is fairly small. Let's take it off symmetry and let's see how we do. Probably won't get this on the first try. It's not so bad. I can do better than that, but it's not so bad for the tutorial. Let's make it pretty with some post-process. And that's pretty much uh, what I had before. So as you can see, you can make lots of really fun shapes with uh, the radial tool, and lots of flowers, things like that. So uh, let me know if you do experiment with that, if you have fun, and if this was helpful. All right. So keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to learn more, check out my classes on Skillshare. I have 2D classes and 3D classes. If you want to see more, be sure to check me out on social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all Drug Free Dave, and also Facebook. There's some really great Facebook resources for Nomad Sculpt and Procreate, including my own group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. As always, keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.